we're, we're coming through, but now we have Chief Ninja. What's up, man? What's poppin', fellas? How Yo, you man, doing, man? So you also had a name change. You were also called Chief Beer Pure. Like, like what was up with that one? Uh, yeah, that was that was the name I uh, originally started uh, rapping as uh, Chief Rapier. Yeah. Uh, the name came from uh, my boy P. He actually gave it to me. Um, I would say back like in uh, I think 2005, 2004. But uh, the name just didn't stick. It just didn't. It just doesn't represent what I was trying to, you know embody now you feel me so we had to just switch it up i just felt it was time for a change you Yo, know man, so did you own any swords like oh like uh, nah <laughs> my brother had some katanas you know we lived in the hood so you know how to go yo man i'm trying to get some katanas myself yo you got it for cheap <laughs> uh I, I ask around for you man <laughs> yo man you gotta give me that that relative discount yo i'm trying to owe a couple yo Okay. Okay, let's stop talking about my sword. Okay, All right. But let's get back to Chief Major. So when you changed your name to Chief Major, like, was that a big change for you? Um. Wait, do you feel were you born like a phoenix? <laughs> nah. Uh, as Nothing? far as the the name change, it was uh, it was kind of a big name change for me because I was just so used to rocking under the uh the old name, and it was just like, you know, it was just it was just a real different angle that I was coming at it from but um I just felt that it was right you know like it just I just felt like it represented what I was trying to like push forward but um as far as uh going forward with it it was just a little hard just because a lot of people were like at first they could have I know they could have said right they yeah, was like they rape, 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 raper so. the, the rape the yeah true story I got called raper about at a show? About 150,000 times. <laughs> It'd be like cheap vapor, don't you say? Uh, yeah. I'm not staying here. Yeah. So, like, with the name and everything, right? So, yeah. it, was it like a whole Indian ritual? Like, you had, you had like, a smoke. You are smoking some stuff, <laughs> and then you saw something in the clouds, and it just You're opened just up. Rape here. Oh, <laughs> we killed major. the baby pig. <laughs> Yo, man, PT, don't say that. Man. PT holds a lot of power, B. You wildin' right now, man. Yo, next you thing, wildin'. <laughs> next thing you know, we go out of the station and pour red paint on us. Yo, yeah. I'm coming to your, I'm coming to your crib, yo. Yo, Chief, look what happened, B. <laughs> We're not even wearing fur. That's, that's, a, different type, that's a different type of feud. Oh, man. Yo, man. Okay, so you just dropped this mixtape. Uh huh. A change has change must come. Change must come. You got that right. You got that right. The second time, not the first time, but the second time. I don't want to get a rap beatdown, yo. Okay. So far in my in my radio career, I've evaded rapper beatdowns, and I don't want that to end tonight. That's a good job you've done there. Yeah, man. Great I'm move. very surprised myself. So I a change too. must come. Like that's a deep title. Yeah. So that was also with your name. Yeah. And a lot of things that were going on. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. Basically, it just uh. It had to do a lot with the name, had to do a lot with the, you know, where I was in my life. Um, my life has changed a lot over the last, you know, two or so years. So, I just felt like it was time to, you know, put that in the music. And uh, the music, just the content of the music is a lot different than it used to be. Um, it's more street, which kind of, you know, represents... In terms of shit that I've been through, can I say that word? No. Nah. nah, uh, my fault. I was gonna uh, tell you, like, when you're in the break, like, yo, so you wildin' right now. <laughs> I was gonna be like my tough one for this whole segment right now, B. Alright, it's my fault. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it just represents, like, uh, a change must come. Like, basically, it, it represents where I'm at with my life, you know? A change must come. A change needed to come, and, you know, it's coming, so. Put yes. the music out, let it represent what, you know, my life. Pretty much it. By, by Chief Major, produced by Mills. Yes. Yeah, man, I see you guys work together a lot. Talk about the art cover, a lot of production. Like, why do you guys just mesh together so well? I met Mills about two years ago. Um, We just clicked right away. I was, like, one of the first people on uh, on his show, Running the NYC. Um, he started, uh, I, I noticed that he was doing a lot of the artwork for, like, here and there for other artists, and I just... I asked him one day, I was like, yo, I'm thinking about doing a tape, and I want you to do the cut, I want you, first, I, I approached him about doing the beats, because I knew he made beats, he, he told me he made beats, he said, he was really hyped about doing the, the mixtape together, which eventually became, um, a million miles per hour, which we dropped about a year ago, he was really hyped, you know, and then he wanted me to, uh, get somebody to do the cover, and I was like, 
why you're nice <laughs> like, yeah, he, but he wasn't confident with it as he is now i guess and um i kind of was just like you know i believed in him i believed that he could do it and so he came out dope so you gave him you're like you're telling him like you're the inspiration for his artwork now no, like you I wouldn't say that. You're like, yo, that was me, man. That was me. No, nah, I wouldn't say that. Uh, I would just say, you know, like, I I believed in him. Like, I believed, I saw that the potential he had. It was no, just you like, want to imagine his designing career? Nah. I'm good on that. <laughs> okay, man, so, what's next for Chief Major? Well, we shooting, uh, like you mentioned, the House of Balloons video. We got um, a performance popping off on New Year's. You gotta follow me on Twitter though to hear more info on that. We also are uh, going into the new year. We're gonna shoot some more videos. We're gonna drop new strong, new, uh, new songs. Um, we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing right now. We're just repping uptown, repping the whole BX, the whole. And you said you're Walsh in an awkward situation. And would you say you're like in an awkward situation with that? Uptown thing. Explain your situation. Well, it's not necessarily an awkward situation. It's just um, I live by I live I'm from Marble Hill. Marble Hill is in the Bronx, but we're on the border of Manhattan and the Bronx. It's to the point where there's a there's a park around where I live yeah. where there's a line that says a real line? yeah literally there's a line. It's a line that says this is Manhattan beyond this point the line is about five blocks into the Bronx though so it's like anything can pass that point is considered Manhattan so we're not a little awkward situation I guess we could say but it's just you know we got our own identity uptown uptown this is a Queen's Bay show miss <laughs> jeez I just gave him a little time to shine about where he's from and you have to take it that far uptown uptown she got mad confidence. Whoa. She was whispering before. Now she's yelling. Uptown, uptown. Okay, yo, I think it's time to end this interview. It's done. You see what you did, Dave? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get into this. You this. pissed easy off, man. I, I'm over. I'm really pissed off all the time, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, man, my brother be tickling my feet while I sleep. <laughs> yo. <laughs> okay, yo, so we're gonna play what we were told. Then you said you want to get into a freestyle, right? Yeah, we could do that. I almost forgot about that, yo. I was about to kick you out. Nah, we do it.